Double thought he had me, then I scream, scream. Double thought he had me, then I scream, scream. Yeah, yo, hey, hey. Ain't no weapons formed against me, gonna prosper. No Plenty of angels round me, packing like some mobsters. So, Psalms 15, come on, verse 1, read, Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall abide in the tabernacle of God? Read, and who shall dwell in thy holy hill? Who's gonna dwell in Zion? Come on, he that walketh uprightly. He that walketh what? Uprightly. He that walketh uprightly. He that don't celebrate Christmas. He that keep the Sabbath day holy. Right, he that come back to the laws of God. Right, that's who gonna, gonna abide. My brother, how are you doing? Hey, what are you doing, man? You, you read the Bible? You know today's a Sabbath? Ah, right, come, brother, read. He that walketh up rightly. So if you're walking up rightly, read. And work of righteousness. And work righteousness, read. And speaketh the truth in his heart. And speak the truth in your heart. That is who is going to abide in Zion. Right? Those who love truth. If you don't love truth, you're not going to abide in Zion. It doesn't matter how much you're singing the churches. It doesn't matter how much you roll on the floor and catch spirit. If you don't abide in truth, abide in the scriptures, abide in the laws of God, there is no Zion for you. Many of you in the churches, you sing 24-7. Awake, Zion, awake. Awake and trim your love. But you never know that you're the children of Zion. You never know you're the children of the prophets. You never know that it's you that Christ died for. Right? Read. He that backbiteth, not with his tongue. God says if you don't backbite with your tongue. Yes, my brother. What interests you? Shalom. You know you're the children of Israel. Mm. Captivity for the wicked. Yeah. All praises, man. Caesar Bonjour. Leonardo, mm. yes, my brother, take care. Yes, yes, take care, man, take care, take care. Yeah, so my brother, where are you fellowship? Where are you congregate? They congregate right now? Huh? Who's your God? Who's your God? Yahweh Shai, all praises. Yeah, man, all praises, man. So you fellowship and thing? All right, my brother, all right, man. Oh, yeah, all right, man. All praises, brother. All praises, all right. Bless him, man. Bless him. What you want to do? It? <laughs> Just cool. Touch it and go on. All right. Bless him. Bless him. All right. Respect. Respect. <laughs> all right. It's good to have brother love, right? It's good when brothers can do it together in unity, right? Psalm 133 and verse 1. So let's read for me, please. Read. Wait, what you was reading? Read that for me, please. Psalm 15. Yes, boss. Okay. Psalms chapter 15 and verse 1. So Psalm 15 and 1. Read. You have a question, mommy? As you pass? Yeah, man. Something intrigue you? Read. Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? So who wants to abide in the tabernacle of God? Read. Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? Who is going to dwell in Zion according to the Bible? Read. He that walketh uprightly. You must be walking uprightly. Read. And walketh righteousness. And walketh what? And worketh righteousness. Righteousness is the laws of God. To, do, to, do, to be righteous is to obey God. To do the laws of God. Right? That is your righteousness. That is your good works. Read. And speak of the truth in his heart. God says you must speak the truth in your heart. You can't claim to be righteous and you're gravitating to lies. Gravitating to illusion. You can't claim to be righteous and you're keeping Christmas. You're celebrating your New Year's in the dead of winter. Those things are lies. Right? You can't claim to be righteous, but yet you hate the things that God tells you to keep and do. Right? That is a hypocrite. That is abomination according to God. Read. He that backbiteth, come on, not with his tongue. You can't backbite with your tongue, come on. Nor doeth evil with his neighbor. Nor doeth evil with your brother. If you're celebrating Christmas, if you're buying the Christmas tree, that is evil. That is abomination. Right? Because the Christmas tree represents who? Nimrod and Tammuz. Right? That is who we represent. When you got them little balls on the Christmas tree, those are the seven heads of babies that were sacrificed. Right? To that God, to that demon. Right? That is who you're dealing with. You're not dealing with the God of the Bible. You're worshipping the devil. Right? And they're teaching you that you're honoring God. But really, you're damning yourself. You're damning your children. You're damning your mother. You're damning your father. You're damning your brother. You're damning your house. It is not the truth. Real. He 
you don't backbite him, not with his tongue. Come, come on. on. Not do evil with his neighbor. You do evil with your neighbor. Come on. Not take him up a reproach against his neighbor. Come on. In whose eyes a vile person is contemporary. But the but he honoreth them that fear the Lord. He honoreth them that fear God. Proverbs 8 and 13. You need to fear God. That is what the problem is. Many of you claim you're loving God and you flock to the churches. You claim to fear God, but you don't know what the fear of God is. What is the fear of God? Anybody can tell me. Anybody can tell me what is the fear of God? Hold on. Anybody at the bus stop can tell me what is the fear of God? How do you fear God? Uh, uh, anybody know you fear God? Read up one, please. Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 13. Read. Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 13. Here is the fear of God. Read. The fear of the Lord, come on, is to hate evil. Is to what? Hate evil. Hate Christmas. Hate lying. Right? Hate thunder worship. Hate eating pork and shrimp. Hate sisters wearing trousers, pants. Hate men being effeminate. Hate changing of kind and genders. That is what it is to hate evil. Right? That is a fear of God when you stand righteously and confidently in this wicked and ungodly world. That is the fear of God. Read. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Come on. Pride. Pride. Read. And arrogance. And arrogancy. Come on. And the evil way. And God says every evil path. That is what the fear of God is when you hate what God hates. Read. And the forward mouth. Come on. The forward mouth. The evil mouth. The double tongued. The hypocritical person. Read. Do I hate? God says he hate that. So when you claim to love God, God don't love you. Because why? You're not following what he, what he given his commandment. You're following your own ways. Give me Romans 10 and 1. Right? That is what you're following. The fear of God is to hate evil. Moses feared God because he followed God's law. The apostles feared God because they followed God's law. They weren't down with this world. They weren't down with the systems of this world. They weren't down with the kingdoms. Those men were bold, righteous men, righteous women of Zion, Leah and Rebecca. Watch this, read Romans 10 and 1. Romans 10 and verse 1. Hear what God says, read. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is. Israel is the slaves. Right? right? Our people that were slaves, that are slaves, right? That come out of the plantation slavery, the transatlantic journey, the middle process journey, right? That's the children of Israel. You are the yoke of iron upon your neck. The Jamaicans, you are the children of Israel, right? You are the Jews, you are the priests, you are Levi, you are Benjamin, right? You are the house of Judah, right? You are God's speckled bird, God's children. You are God's loved ones. Right? You are the prized possession of the earth. God's gold. Watch this read. Brethren, come on. My heart's desire and pray for God is for Israel. It's for Israel, come on. That they might be saved. That you might obtain salvation from your enemies. enemies. That yeah. you might rule in the kingdom. Yes. Rule over your, your process. That is the salvation of your God. Read. So I bear them record that they, that they have a zeal of God. God says, you the children of Israel, you have a zeal of God. Yes. That is why you flock to the churches. That's, your, that's why you're in Sunday worship. That's why you're in Islam. That's why you're in Buddhism and Hinduism. That's why you're in every religion under the sun. It's because you have a fear, you have a zeal of God. Read. But not according to knowledge. But you have no knowledge. You are not built up in the scriptures. You don't know your God. You don't know who you are. You don't know your land. You don't know your history. You don't know your culture. You don't know you're from the prophets. You don't know you're from the bosom, the line of kings. Watch this, read. For they be ignorant of God's righteousness. Because you lack the knowledge of what God's law requires of you. Read. And going about to establish their own righteousness. Therefore, you in the Caribbean, you in Jamaica, you establish your own righteousness. You flock into the churches based on your own righteousness. Read. Having not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. You refuse to submit yourself to God's law, God's spirit, God's word. This Bible, coming back to the Sabbath, coming back to Passover and Pentecost, coming back to, to, to Feast of Trumpets and the dedications, right? You left off the rich heritage and the laws of your God and you've taken up fairy tale. You've taken up illusion. You've taken up lies, right? You put on the ways of the world. That's what God is saying. Watch this, read. 
For Christ is the end of the law. Come on, you look to Christ for the law. Look to him to teach you what is required based on the law. Read. For righteousness. Come on. To everyone that believes it. To everyone that believes it.